Aloha, sons and waters. Let's tap in. For a few days straight now, I kept hearing, you can't afford me. You can't afford to have me. You can't afford my attention, my energy. And this doesn't always have to be in a material sense, money-wise. This could be vibration-wise, frequency. Maybe you have um, people who are at a lower vibration, possibly perpetrating the fraud as if they're in a higher vibration or... You know, the same with money, someone who's broke, pretending they have money. And then now the true colors are starting to be revealed. And you're like, ah, huh, you can't even afford to fuck with me. Very interesting. So let's tap in and see what's going on. Who is this person or what's the collective been uh, going through? Yeah. So I said, who is this person? And this is someone who's dangerous. Hmm. Hmm. This is someone who's dangerous, and I'm seeing like you're creating this sacred space for you. You're in like the full energy of the clean slate, taking leaps of faith, taking risks. Someone who's very innocent, who went through their purification process. And I feel like this person around you could be really detrimental to your sacred space. So. I feel like you could already know who this is because, you know, like I said, this was somebody that you were already questioning, like, mm, you can't afford to fuck with me. And I'm also hearing it in a spiritual sense as well. Like, you literally can't afford to fuck with me. Like, my spirit guides will fuck you up. You do not know who my ancestors are. You do not know who their ancestors are. You know what I mean? So you could be an Aquarius. This could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. Who's you this? So it's like, yeah, you're remembering where the fuck you came from, who you're a child of. And I feel like you're exactly going back to your roots, maintaining your garden. You could have blue eyes or the person you're dealing with has um, blue eyes. But I'm also seeing these blue eyes. It's like using telepathic communications you're clearing out a lot of ancestral traumas in these times and i feel you connecting with your ancestors ancestors telepathically yes it's like they're telling you how to clear up these karmic cycles in order to create your future and i'm hearing you know the ancestral trauma that you and your bloodline had to deal with it's a it's a pretty interesting story but I'm hearing share it anyways. You sharing your story helps you create your future because you're speaking from where you came from. You're speaking from experience. Dis-ease, displease. So you could be feeling dis-ease around this person. And, you know, whether it's spiritually ill, physically, emotionally, mentally draining... Um, and, you know, that's not just causing you to feel displeased, but also your ancestors as well. You're being called to seek forgiveness, maybe forgiving yourself for allowing this people in your energy. Maybe they're even wanting to seek forgiveness. But I'm feeling like that forgiveness is just a way for you to take the load off because you're stepping into... I feel like seeking forgiveness is crucial for your survival forgiving self it's gonna open space for this personal expansion you could be traveling moving away from some sort of narcissistic rat i'm seeing this could be someone that always blamed you for shit used you as a scapegoat and we have china maybe you're traveling to china maybe you're using some sort of time travel um going back in history and seeing how your people survived through situations like this. You know, China has a lot of healing remedies when it comes to this types of situations. So let's tap in with the tarot. Who is this person that is around them that can't afford to fuck with them? Yeah, I do feel this person. Ooh. They're going through some shit. Mm, 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 mm. 
plug my phone in. Is that good? Are we good? Oh. Hmm. So, as soon as I tried to charge my phone, my cigarette got knocked out of my mouth with the charger. I feel like this person could also, like, take words out of your mouth and flip it to as a form of manipulation what's going on with this energy spirit so there is sort of uh, there's a resurrection happening i see there's a two of cups resurrection happening someone that you're in complete alignment with and i feel that it's being resurrected they're coming towards you because you're knowing how worthy you are you're knowing who should be around you and who shouldn't and i feel like you passed the test wow the hanged man who you should and shouldn't be around so oh the hanged man this gives me the vibes of the resurrection is what the fuck that is the resurrection it's like you're freeing yourself you were in this moment of surrender just kicking back peeping game and you're rising up you're rising to the occasion raising your vibrations even yeah setting the expectations setting the tone with your vibrations and being really focused in where you're going and you're in your queen of queen of swords energy which you should be because she's the one that helps you clear the way she's the one that helps you read the room and remove people out of your life that shouldn't be there so let's talk in oh my gosh i was just gonna ask how is this person feeling about you what is this person's energy like? And they're the magician in reverse. That's someone that uses manipulation, gaslighting, someone who's a narcissist. <sighs> Using trickery, perpetrating the fraud. And that's who you're cutting out. Exactly. You're moving away from them, doing things solo. Because you value yourself, you value your energy, you value your sacred space. Rising above the chaos. Public recognition. You could have wanted this person to recognize you. And because you let it go, you're like, mm, hmm. Okay. And now... You're getting recognized by a lot of fucking people. Look at that. We have the king and queen of swords here. I feel like that's your divine counterpart. You guys are both in this energy of clearing out the weeds, weeding out the wicked. Wow. What the fuck is up with this deck? It's just coming out like that. Well, shit. But I feel like... There's something that's still complete. There's still some unfinished business. And it could be people within your friend group. And it was like long overdue to remove this people from your space because they're no longer on your vibration. Avoiding a disaster. You're hearing miss me with the bullshit. Exactly. Five of wands in reverse. That's miss me with the bullshit. Alright. What's the connection with this divine counterparts being resurrected? Now that they know who the fuck they are. Oh my god, this deck. So I feel like this connection I'm seeing this Ace of Cups energy of a 
person you thought it was, the person you were expecting it to be, isn't that person. That could even be the person that can't afford your fucking energy. Let's tap into the Afro Goddess Arcana. Let's see what's going on with this energy. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups in Reverse Spirit. The Supreme. Yeah, you're seeing beyond things. You're seeing beyond the illusion. Because you're one with self. It's like you're starting to notice that basically, basically everybody around you can't afford to fuck with you. It's like you could have been in this lower state, stuck in this lower vibration, which is causing you to be around these people. And it's like deep down you knew. I feel like deep down you knew, but you just chose to entertain the bullshit. I feel like it was entertaining for you. But I feel in these times, you're you're being called to entertain more lighthearted energy. Yeah, the truth, having some sort of breakthrough, mental clarity on the things that you're focusing on. You know, you want pure thoughts in your mind, so you have to pay attention to righteous things. You know, energy flows where attention goes. I'm seeing out of sight, out of mind. Yes, walking away from things that aren't emotionally fulfilling. It's like, that's not even emotionally fulfilling, entertaining the bullshit. So why entertain it? Because they're feeding off your attention. <sighs> yeah. Definitely feeding off your attention, feeding off your energy, your love, that Ace of Cups energy. I'm seeing right here, the eight went to the seven. trying to drain you trying to get you to feel stuck but it's something you're paying attention to so taking accountability for the things that you allow around you in your energetic field yeah exactly it's like this nostalgia energy this reminiscing what are you reminiscing about have a change of heart she's in deep contemplation about the things she's focusing on and she's also surrendering to it, allowing it to give her some sort of clarity on things, becoming enlightened on things. <sighs> yeah, enlightened on the things that somebody's been holding on to. And there's that Six of Cups energy reminiscing on the past, right? Grieving the past it's like so focused on it but also not burying it now honoring it right surrendering to it honor acceptance accountability and that's how you heal from it and i feel like someone's watching you that divine counterpart they're watching you and your energy they see you as someone who's rare and they're inspired. Mm, they're inspired. But they're also waiting for you. They're waiting. They're giving you the space and the time for you to free yourself from these chains. Exactly, that six of pentacles energy, but we have the goddess. I count, I count it like that. But it's like definitely somebody stepping out of their comfort zone once they honor how they feel. All right, let's get some from the angels and ancestors and close this off. Uh, yeah, air guardian, shift your perception, and autumn, release the old and rest. 
allowing the dead leaves to fall off, you know, but shifting your perception, staying in this higher vibration so you can see where things are off balance. Let's get one from the Creativity Oracle. I'm just going to open it up. Truth, honest desire to know and speak the truth produces beneficial results and overwhelming. The hard work we love can leave us feeling overwhelmed, drained, burdened, burnt out, among other problems. So I feel like this truth that somebody is needing to speak or has spoken is leaving them feeling overwhelmed. How can we help with this overwhelming feeling? Well, I feel somebody just has to speak the truth. Mm. Analyze. Your time is well spent analyzing, but only up to where you become too attached to a, any particular outcome. So that's what somebody has to release as well. It's not um, overanalyzing a certain situation. Letting things be. All right, we're done here. I love you all. Aloha.